What can the theological theory of pandeism tell us about the multiverse theory of physics? First let us consider what the multiverse theory is. It is a scientific theory that proposes that there are a number of alternative universes, perhaps a handful, perhaps an uncountably large collection, perhaps even an endless number. Current theories suppose that there will be no means of communication or other interaction from one universe to the next, so it can never be known if the theory is actually true. And so, the supposition that this is even possible must, itself, be taken on faith. But, if we suppose this theory to be true, the multiverse still requires a point of origin. Consider, if it stretches infinitely backwards in time then all permutations would already have happened including whichever permutations would mark the end of all multiverses. And so, if there are many universes, there must have been a beginning point for all of them, or at the least, for the one that begat the rest. There is no reason to suppose these universes could not have been initiated by an intelligent being. Indeed, it is now proposed that baby universes can be spun out of an existing universe, and even that human scientists may be able to spin off such a baby universe in a laboratory. Surprising as this may seem, it would pose no danger to Earth or our universe, for such a baby universe would immediately be spun out into an alternative reality, and so would not even interact with our universe. Returning, now, to the question of pandeism, the multiverse theory does not explain why there will be a reality capable of generating and sustaining many universes. But it does offer a surprising corollary, for if it is true, and if it is taken that in the multiplicity of universes, everything that possibly may happen will, indeed, happen, then it is ultimately necessary that one of those many universes would produce a deity, capable of transversing all bounds between universes. And so, it follows that if there is truly an unending multiverse, there must also be a quote-unquote, God. Pandeism would simply push this inevitability to the forefront and supposed that an intelligent creator had become all of whatever multiverses came about, and whichever multiverse produced a deity would merely be reconstituting such an initial creator. But, pandeism is also content to suppose that the one universe we know to exist is the only one, and is alone in requiring a pandeistic explanation.